For more details and free downloads, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash NWN. And for full channel listings, suprememastertv.com forward slash worldwide. We thank all the reporters, journalists, photographers, camera persons, individuals, groups, companies everywhere in the world for all your contributions of news that bring hope to humans and animals, thus uplifting the atmosphere of our planet. May heaven bless your noble endeavors and protect you always, especially while on challenging duty. Fortunate and blessed are we to be co-inhabitants with the amazing animals that grace and color our planet. In countless beneficial ways, they add beauty and joy to our lives. Their nobility through unconditional love, loyalty and heroic life-saving actions is a constant source of wonder and inspiration. What would our world be like without our fun and intelligent animal friends? We simply could not imagine it. Thanks be to the Providence for all the cherished animals. May we always honor their God-given precious lives as we honor a part of ourselves. Marhaba means hello in Arabic. I'm Zainab. Equality is of the souls and not a sameness of the outer appearance. Heritage-rich Iraq is glad to know your awareness of this truth. May Allah's unconditional love always be with you. Hola, muchas gracias por estar aquí. This is Hi, thank you very much for being here in Spanish, the official language of Colombia. I'm Elkin. Kindness flows in our blood because we are God's beloved children. The exuberant Colombian people pray with you for the day when all humans behave accordingly and thus find true happiness. May heavens protect your kind soul. Welcome to Noteworthy News, touching news for a caring world. Touching news for a loving world, Supreme Master Television brings you good news from around our beautiful planet, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Our programs can be viewed online at suprememastertv.com as well as on YouTube and iOS or Android apps. For full channel listings, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash worldwide. We are pleased to announce the launch of Supreme Master Television on satellite across Australia and New Zealand on Optus D2KU band at 152 degrees east and throughout Lebanon on channel 111 on cable vision. Across South and Southeast Asia on ABS2 Southern Beam KU band at 75.0 degrees east and across North Africa and the Middle East on Nutelsat 7W Mina Beam KU band at 7.0 degrees west or Nilesat position across East Asia on Appstar 7KU band at 76.5 degrees east, across Russia and surrounding areas on Yamal 401KU band at 90 degrees east, and across the Middle East on Yasat 1 East Beam KU band at 52.5 degrees east. Additionally, Supreme Master Television is available worldwide in more than 232 countries, territories, and regions via Roku Streaming TV and Apple TV, in 111 countries on Amazon Fire TV, in 144 countries via Android-based TV systems. 
also on satellite in Sub-Saharan Africa and Europe on Intelsat 20 KU band at 68.5 degrees east. In Central and South Americas as well as Mexico on Hispasat 30W-6 KU band at 30 degrees west. For full frequency information, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash satellite. On shortwave radio in Sub-Saharan Africa, Europe, North Africa and the Middle East on 15770 kilohertz. In South and Central Americas on 5800 kHz. In Central and Eastern United States plus Canada, Bermuda, Greenland and Iceland on 9395 kHz. In the Western United States, Western, Canada and Mexico. Mexico on 5950 kilohertz and in central south southeast and western asia on 7570 kilohertz and on internet radio icecast directory online radio box radio guide.fm radio.net retro radio for shoutcast shoutcast directory and stream finder using search supreme master tv as well as on podcast on acast apple podcasts blueberry castbox google play music himalaya itunes ivox listen notes my tuner radio player fm podbean pod toppen podtail pod paradise radio public soundcloud spotify stitcher and tune in radio supreme master television is also available in belize in belize city belmopan benke and cayo district channel 239 or frequency 291 megahertz on central tv and internet in punta gorda and stan creek district channel 224 on southern cable and throughout belize on omnistream z via southern cable in cambodia laos and thailand on malimar tv network in cameroon in bamenda Bue Daula, Kribi, Kumba, Limbe, Tico, and Yaounde on Southwest Communication. In Canada, Faith TV. Please search by postcode at faithtelevision.ca for your local channel listings. And Joy TV on Telus Satellite TV and Bell TV Canada, as well as locally on numerous cable and IPTV networks. Please search by postcode at joytv.ca forward slash channel dash finder for full channel listings. In Chile, in Puente Alto, Santiago, channel frequency 58.1 on Intercable. In the Democratic Republic of the Congo, in Kinshasa, on PSTV. In El Salvador, on DC IPTV. And in San Miguel and Usulatan, on Cablesat. In Guatemala, in Guatemala City, channel 69 on Cable Minerva and Electronica Chilena. And in Barbarena, and Zaragoza, channel 58 on Cable Minerva. In Esquipales, channel 110 on Cable Facil Digital. In Guyana, on Airlink Communications. In India, on Airtel, DD Direct, Dish TV, Reliance, and Tata Sky on Sadna TV, as well as Geo and all cable networks. On D-Dish Satellite TV in Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region, Buryatia, Russia, and throughout Mongolia on Channel 211. Plus in Mongolia, Erdenet City, Darkan, and Ulaanbaatar on Univision Cable TV. In Nepal and India, Clear TV, Dish Home, Merrill TV, Sim TV, and Sky TV on Bhakti Darshan TV. In New Zealand, on Mainland Television. In Nicaragua, on Nika TV. In Panama, on Latin Play TV, in Peru, in Ancash on DKR, in Huancayo on Cable Red, in Lima, Cable Vision, Cable Peru Super Cable, Servi Cable, and Cable Lazer on Asiri TV, and in Puno on Televisión Universitaria Cable TV, in Taiwan, also known as Formosa, on Feng TV, in Changhua on Santa Cable TV, in Kaohsiung on Phoenix Cable TV, in Chilong on Prosperity Cable TV, in Pingtung on Guangsheng Digital CATV and Pingnan CATV, in Tainan on Nantian Cable TV, in Taoyuan on North Taoyuan Cable TV, in Taipei on Cable Giant Qingbingtao, Chuanlian, Daan, Wenshan, Xin Taipei, Xin Tangshan, and Yangmingshan Cable TV, and in Ilan, Channel 4 on Union Cable TV in Trinidad and Tobago on Airlink Communications, in the United Kingdom on Connected Freeview, Freesat and Sky on Showcase TV, and EETV Box via Vision TV, in the United States on Samsung Smart TVs, as well as on Public Access TV, in Arizona on Cable One, in California on Midpen Media Center, BCM TV, KMVT, KOCT, CMAP TV, Access Sacramento, Comcast SF Commons, Korea TV, and KSAR. In New York on Brick TV, MNN, PA TV, Long Island, QP TV, and White Plains PA TV. In Washington DC on DC TV. In New Hampshire on Dairy Cam. In Massachusetts on Brookline Interactive Group. We have multiple more channels which are not listed here due to lack of space and time. Please log on for your choices or and areas as we might also have more new channels anytime.
For full channel listings, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash worldwide. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programmes offrent plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barre inclinada schedule. Acara kami menyediakan banyak bahasa. Silakan lihat suprememastertv.com garis miring schedule. Also, be sure to follow us on our socials, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, as well as on Tumblr in multiple languages by searching Supreme Master TV. In today's news, Japan enhances food security in South Sudan. International NGO funds training for refugees in Jordan. Borrow in Britain to extract geothermal energy. Mongolia poised to replace coal with renewables. Kind-hearted girl sends art supplies to underprivileged children. Researchers in United States recommend reducing meat consumption. And platypuses reintroduced to habitat after Australian bush fires. All these and more on Supreme Master Television, your constructive global TV channel. Japan's kindness aids South Sudan's resilience. The government of Japan has donated 3.1 million U.S. dollars to help the United Nations World Food Program, or WFP, feed more than 41,000 people in the African nation. In addition to immediate relief, Funds will be allocated to create vegetable gardens, labbies, and roads. Enhancing food security is essential following 12 months of challenging circumstances that included severe drought, heavy flooding, and a locust invasion. Japan, a Shining World Leadership Award for Compassion, Animal Protection, and Generosity Laureate, is a long-standing partner of WFP activities in South Sudan and has contributed 52.3 million U.S. dollars since 2012. We gratefully applaud your generosity and heaven bless you, Japan. Our appreciation also to the World Food Program for your unwavering assistance. In heaven's infinite mercy, may the sincere people of South Sudan be provided with everything they need to enjoy fulfilling lives. Training programs for young Palestinians in Jordan receive funding. The International Muslim World League, headquartered in Saudi Arabia, has given 1 million US dollars to the United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestine Refugees in the Near East, or UNRWA. The contribution will help pay for teachers, equipment, and safety devices at the Wadi Sir Vocational Training Center in Amman. 110 instructors have been teaching and giving exams online during the coronavirus pandemic so that 1,000 students can graduate on schedule. UNRWA supplies refugee youth with the marketable skills they need to secure full-time employment. Our earnest gratefulness, Muslim World League, and UNRWA for your benevolent deeds. May your noble endeavors be amply rewarded in the overflowing love of Allah. Up next, borrow in Britain to extract geothermal energy. We'll take a moment to thank the bicycle messengers who provide rapid and direct delivery of documents and other small items, especially in the business districts of metropolitan areas. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more encouraging news. For more details and free downloads, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash nwn. And for full channel listings, suprememastertv.com forward slash worldwide. Good day, gentle viewers. I'm Biju the Blue Crown Pigeon. People are head over heels in love with me because I'm vegan. Here's a little gardening tip for you. Do you ever use a hose to water your lawn, flowers, or trees? If you're not careful, you may accidentally drag it over some delicate plants while you're moving around. To prevent that from happening, simply plant a pitchfork in the ground with your hose between two of the prongs. Easy and effective. Thank you for tuning in and lots of love for being veg and going green to save the planet for all humans and us all co-inhabitants. Now, the worldwide weather.
British municipality to harvest geothermal heat from flooded coal mines. South Tyneside in northeast England, the United Kingdom plans to drill boreholes into mines that were closed 88 years ago. The reservoirs that formed underground have been warmed by energy from the Earth's core. Once the water is extracted and compressed, it will be used to heat government-owned buildings in the vicinity. Cooled water would then be returned to the mines and recycled. The innovative scheme is expected to save 319 metric tons of carbon emissions per year and help the borough achieve its goal of carbon neutrality by 2030. Researchers say geothermal sources could provide the UK with warmth for 100 years. Way to go, South Tyneside, on your creative utilization of unseen resources. May your efforts inspire others to find energy solutions that protect the planet for future generations in the embrace of the providence. Mongolia to ramp up production of renewable energy. With a loan of 100 million US dollars from the Asian Development Bank, Mongolia plans to construct its first advanced battery energy storage system, or BES. It will be one of the largest such projects in the world, with a capacity of 125 megawatts. Electricity from wind turbines and solar-powered photovoltaic panels will feed into the BES for distribution to the nation's central power grid. When the installation is completed at the end of 2024, Mongolia's carbon dioxide emissions will be reduced by almost 800,000 metric tons a year. The country intends to make its energy 20% renewable by 2023 and 30% by 2030. Wonderful news! Mongolia and Asian Development Bank, your forward-thinking strategies are in sync with the global shift to plant-based nutrition, fostering a new era of sustainability. May God's cherished dream for humanity's health and happiness soon come true. Sixth grader promotes happiness and peace through art. When Chelsea Fair of Danbury, Connecticut, United States, turned 10 years old in 2019, she and her parents launched Chelsea's charity. The girl's idea was to give art supplies to disadvantaged children as a way of helping them cope with their emotions. After collecting things like crayons and coloring books, she and her mom assembled kits and delivered them in person. Since social distancing started in March 2020, the charity has sent over 1,500 kits by mail. The kind-hearted girl told major U.S. news channel CNN, Now my dream is to meet every kid in the entire world and give them art. Who knows, maybe if we do that and then our kids do that, we'll have world peace. God bless you, Chelsea Fair and family, for your altruistic actions. The world is definitely a better place thanks to the selfless love of angels like you. Coming up, researchers in the United States recommend reducing meat consumption. We will take a moment to sample a musical performance of improvised poetry known as Ashiklik, a UNESCO intangible cultural heritage of humanity from Turkey. More high-minded news when we return. Please stay with us here on Supreme Master Television. For more details and free downloads, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash nwn and for full channel listings, suprememastertv.com forward slash worldwide. Welcome back to Noteworthy News, splendid news for a wondrous world. University study finds diet shift would help control climate change, according to researchers at the University of Michigan and Tulane University in the United States. A 50% reduction in animal-based foods over the next 10 years would remove 1.6 billion metric tons of greenhouse gases from the atmosphere. In addition, if consumers were to also cut back on beef consumption by 90%, the benefit to the climate would be boosted to 2.4 
billion metric tons of emissions avoided. The study cautioned that if Americans do not change their eating habits, heat trapping gases from the production of food will increase 9% by 2030 as the population grows. Many thanks, University of Michigan and Tulane University researchers, for your insightful and eye opening report. May all planetary citizens comprehend the consequences of eating meat and swiftly adopt a vegan lifestyle in heaven's radiant smile. Three platypuses returned to the Australian wild following evacuation. In December 2019, bushfires were approaching Tibin Bila Nature Reserve near Canberra and the creeks were almost dry from drought. With help from the University of New South Wales, researchers saved seven dogbills and brought them to a care facility in Sydney for a temporary stay. Plentiful rainfall since February 2020 has revitalized the mammal's habitat, and the first group of platypuses was successfully reintroduced in April. The remaining animals will be transported to Tipin Villa shortly. All is well for now, but scientists are concerned that such rescues could become increasingly necessary if a warmer climate causes rivers and ponds to dry up. Our delighted appreciation, researchers, University of New South Wales, and loving caregivers, may all treasured wildlife flourish as humans become better guardians, upgrading their awareness and behavior to preserve Mother Earth in celestial oneness. Get ready to let loose a little with a joke of the day called In-Flight Service. Would you like a drink, madam? What are my options? Yes or no. <laughs> and now, we have a heartline from Guilla Medrano Perez in Mexico. Queridos miembros del equipo de Supreme Master TV, Jesús A. Rodríguez es senador en el Congreso Mexicano, vegana y ecologista. Ella promueve el rescate de las comunidades indígenas y lucha contra el maltrato animal. Ha propuesto recientemente una iniciativa que requiere que todos los restaurantes en las instalaciones del Senado sean veganos, para que senadores, diputados y el personal administrativo puedan consumir alimentos sin carne ni productos de origen animal, para que aprendan a disfrutar nuevas variedades de menús y mejoren su salud. Yo estoy muy feliz por esta iniciativa que, de ser aprobada, involucraría a los legisladores de todo el país y puede tener un efecto multiplicador benéfico. Que los reinos celestiales y los budas vivientes continúen mirándonos con amor y compasión a todos los habitantes del planeta y a los mexicanos. Gracias, Supreme Master TV, por la inspiración y bendiciones recibidas. Deseo la mejor retribución del cielo para ustedes. Guille Medrano Pérez, vegana, de México. Joyous Guille, thank you for sharing this wonderful news with us. May Her Excellency Jesusa Rodriguez soon succeed in her endeavor to enable her colleagues of the Mexican Senate to have the opportunity to eat compassionate cuisine daily while serving the nation. The senator is a model leader as she is taking into account the interests of all inhabitants of Mexico, both humans and animals. No step is ever too small to take. Indeed, it is the first step needed for any positive evolution. We pray that all governments will now choose to implement vegan law. In God's grace, may you and the marvelous people of Mexico be protected by the divine. Supreme Master TV Team We welcome your heartline stories and or cute loving animal clips. Please send them via suprememastertv.com forward slash heartline. Pray for World Vegan in order to rescue our world. Please join Supreme Master Ching Hai to sincerely meditate and or pray for World Vegan in order to rescue our world every Sunday at 9 p.m. Hong Kong time. Make uh, an alarm wherever you are, whatever you do. Please stop for some moment to pray for World Vegan. With us, 9 o'clock evening, Hong Kong time.
We sure have enjoyed spending time with you on Northworthy News. May your heart sing in blissful harmony with heaven. We thank all the reporters, journalists, photographers, camera persons, individuals, groups, companies everywhere in the world for all your contributions of news that bring hope to humans and animals, thus uplifting the atmosphere of our planet. May heaven bless your noble endeavors and protect you always, especially while on challenging duty. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash NWN.